guys, I'm back in Kenshin Impact. Uh, I'm still playing on the same day. I'm just making a different video because that was too long already. That was two hours recording. Continue. Still Act Three. We're chasing Kujosara to Tenshukaku. Oh, Tenshukaku is inside somewhere. Yeah, right now you can't arrest me, right? <laughs> yeah, there's no guards anyway. Oh shit. Um. That's probably Sarah. <laughs> well, all the guards are down. Madam Kuju Sarah, she. God damn. And I assume this is another Dobin. Wait, Takeshi. <laughs> Tenshukaku. Of course it's another domain, alright. This is where the Raiden Shogun dwells. If your guess isn't off, you're about to meet Signora again. Oh boy. What? Alright, we're gonna talk to Signora, what? I sense a boss battle coming. Is that her? Yeah, it is. The way people charge in here as they please. So uncivilized. If I didn't know this was Tenshukaku, I might have mistaken it for some kind of street market. Have you learned your lesson now? Oh no! What if oh, she did to Kujasara? The right to punish Inazumans for their crimes is mine alone. Not yours, Signora. Then I apologize, almighty Shogun. Senora. I know, I know. You can't get me out of your mind. But you really don't need to call my name all the time. Don't go thinking I'm surprised to see you here. I'm well aware that you hate me with the way you follow me around like a dark shadow. You're secretly distributing delusions. Ah, so you came to expose my crimes in front of the Shogun? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a Snezhnayan diplomat. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. She doesn't take us seriously at all! For all who have been harmed by delusions, for all who have lost their wish. Stop talking about people and things that I care nothing about. They were nobodies to begin with, and their names will be forgotten. But now, at least, they get to be building blocks in the grand revolution to realize eternity. Is that not the greatest honor they could hope for in their tiny little lives? Almighty Shogun, do correct me if I'm wrong. <sighs> for Venti's Gnosis and for the people of Li where you imperiled. That's ancient history. <sighs> you certainly love to hold a grudge. The Tsaritsa's dream is the noblest and purest thing in all the world. These other mundane details you insist on mentioning? They're just necessary sacrifices. That's all. Time to put a stop to this. You? Stop me? <laughs> For what it's worth, I've grown tired of seeing you around as well. But I didn't have you down as someone quite so... Foolhardy. Before you go saying something you can't take back, remember that you're Inazuma's most wanted criminal. I suggest you consider your circumstances very carefully. Charging into Tenshukaku uninvited and lecturing me in front of the Shogun wasn't the brightest move. Don't you think it's time you stopped digging? I'm not sure you realize quite how much distance there is between us, both in status and in strength. I challenge you. Oh, voice. To a duel before the throne. <sighs> Proceed. Proceed. My, you're full of surprises okay. today. So you've learned to make the law of the land work for you too. Damn, I didn't expect another voice <laughs> from the traveler. I admit that I never expected to be in a situation where the two of us were on equal footing. You are aware that the loser must die. Are you sure this is what you want? Traveler! 
Then I will deign to share this last dance with you. Till death do us part! Oh boy, it is a boss battle. Defeat Signora in a duel before the throne. Oh boy. A lesson on harbinger power and elegance? <laughs> I'm freezing? As you wish. Okay, this is the freezing face. Oh, okay, hold up. Not this time. Well, yeah. good thing I have Bennett then. More speed. But first, I condemn you. Yeah, I'm getting damaged. Oh shit! Right, she can freeze. This is like I need, I need heat. Right, this, oh. right. This is order. Good thing I have zombie. And I have this. Everybody stand back. Ha, ha, oh ha. shit! This is faster than me. Oh, my moves are slowing down. Oh, shit. Crush. Freeze to the core. Whoa. That's like the pyro. Hypostasis me. Ah! What the hell so fast? Hold up, cool down, cool down, cool down, cool down, cool down. Use elemental reactions. Wait, oh, oh, oh. Take the crimson thing. Wait, crimson lotus. Who's in Lotus? Oh shit! Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, no! All right, there we go. Crimson Witch of Embers. Oh shit. Adventure time. So this is the fire face. Well, uh Fire Oh shit. What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is the same. I need, I need Bennett's I'm not ready. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool down a bit, okay. Ah. Nine hundred. Nine thousand, wait. Ah, what the hell? Whoosh! Well, I think I got shield. Oh no, the heat. Where did you go? Take this. Right. Embrace your searing reckoning. Not every wound will heal. Stabilize. This is order. Then the music. I missed. Thanks. Oh. Get back. Even with the shield, I'm still getting burned. Eye for an eye. I condemn you. No, I need to go down. Dance, my pretty. I'm still burning, what? Right? 
Whoa, what the hell is that? Oof. What to win? You have animal as well? Oh boy. Oh, fuck. Adventure time. Yeah. Stabilize. Not every wound will heal. Not even ashes will remain. Huh? Off we go. All right, here we go. Oh no! Damn, I'm almost... I nearly died now. How does this move? Oh. What is this fire BS? Okay. Oof, I missed. Embrace your searing reckoning. Not every wound. Yes, she. I didn't hold. Wah, the animal. Ah, my health is going down. Let's light it up. Eye for an eye. Drop this. Oh, all right. There you go. God damn, playing with the fire and ice. So strong, but but how? <sighs> oh, oh no! Don't tell me. Oh wait, no, she she's going. To kill her because she lost. I am a Snishnayan diplomat. You know what happens if you lay a finger on me. I swear, if you strike me, I will make sure. The Matui will make sure that your precious Inazuma. Oh, she. Stop! I order you! And you! Filthy rats! All of you! Oh shit, she shit. Oh she is really dead. <laughs> oh shit. Are the enemy of eternity. Uh oh. Are we still fighting? But as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Hmm? Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. Wait, she allows us to leave? Oh shit, we just uh, left. The writing children isn't gonna let us off just like that, yeah. right? Why is, why does with this walk? Oh, the air feels suffocating. What the hell? It um, must be the writing children's almightiness. We're just walking slowly out. Senora is slain. Yeah, Senora died by her. Yep. The hell? She got what she deserved. But Paimon still can't help but feel upset. Why are they doing it? Why are the harbingers collecting all the nosies? Yeah, that was so. Huh? huh? Traveler, you got a headache? Hold on, what is this? Chin up! Let's get out of this place. Uh, Paimon feels unsettled. What, was, what is this? What was that headache again? The Muso no Hitotachi. Also, when the Shogun executed Senora with the Muso no Hitotachi, uh, yeah. it was unbelievably powerful. It seems impossible to defend against. And if so, we've got no hope whatsoever of defeating her in combat. 
You know she said she um uh yeah Yaimiko's plan. What is the plan no, now? Oh, right. by the statue of the omnipresent god. Yes. Oh, but we'll be like lambs to the slaughter, won't we? Oh, maybe we could put this plan on hold for a while. Um, <laughs> you know... There's the sound of electro zapping in the air. Yeah. Paimon can barely breathe. What is this headache again? I have a feeling she's gonna kill us still, either way. It's so noisy outside. What is this? It's unsettling. Sounds like there's a lot of noise coming from outside Tenshikaku. Has a fight broken out or something? Uh, oh, the guards seem really nervous. Well, let's go see what the situation is, shall we? Okay. We're leaving Tenshukaku. Ah, Goro! Kazuha! The resistance. Oh no, I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew she was gonna kill us anyway. Oh shit. Oh? There will always be those who dare to break the lightning's glow. That's the other. That just light up. And it's like four. Yeah. Oh, it's too long. The plan, the plan. We are near the statue. So we need her to open the knee again. Come on, do it. All right, there it is. She's opening it. We're back here again. So this is a, the real her. I see. So we meet again. Yep. Round two. Indulge my curiosity. Oh. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? The Fatui have deceived the Raiden Shogun. The Vision Hunter should never have assisted. Oh? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. If so, then you underestimate me. I am quite well informed about the Vision Hunt Decree. Quite well informed? You mean you know what's going on then? Actually, all this time? Not so. Only everything that pertains to eternity. The Vision Hunt Decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise... They would have been purged long but ago. But it's damaging, yeah. It costs, comes at great cost to the people, yes. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. What you might not realize is that all too often, people have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. Consider this. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. Rather... Those who have lost their lives are the ones who insisted on pursuing their own aspirations, are they not? Tepi. Yeah. I see what you Traveler, mean. your existence is unique in my eyes. There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you. To put it another way, you are the furthest thing from eternity. So, I won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions. What matters is that I tread the path of eternity 
on my people's behalf. This is your plane of your time, yeah, yeah. Is created by your consciousness. That's right. Huh. I'm surprised you understand it so well. Yeah, I'm equal to this. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will, aren't you? Not to debate, but to demolish them. Hmm. So be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me. Let's the fighting then. Round two, right? Defeat the Electro Archon. Where? Where are you? Um. Um. Hello. Oh, there you are. Okay, we know her moves now. Except for that. Watch out! She has the. Oh, that's the circle. Okay, that's the round one. Oh. oh. That's the normal. Okay, that's the that's the attack. Wasn't that three? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I know her moves. Yeah, I'm equal. She knows the moves. Oh. Okay. Six thousand damage and that was. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Oh shit. Um, I need to destroy that. Never mind. Too late. Twelve thousand and that's it. Uh -huh. I missed. Eye for an eye. Forget, for forget the moose. I got shields. Why do I need to care? Let's just uh -huh. go. Yeah. Oh shit! Ah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Shield first. <laughs> Let's go. That was close. Oh, okay. Stay back. Eye for an eye. Damn it. Hold up. Strike dead. Evasion is futile. Oh, this. Oh, no. <laughs> it's this again. Um, I can't hear. Uh, hold up. But a way to turn things around might appear. Um, Nothing to fear. Yeah. I'll use Yula. Yula is my strongest attacker. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Damn it. Okay. Ah, yeah, I'm Miko. I knew she would come. Miko, this was your doing. Now, now. Don't forget who taught you how so is she to gonna help us? Are we gonna use her? Surely you don't think your ambition alone no, I don't think so. Will, do She's a new character, so it can't be. Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions, which they yes. long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. <laughs> Abolish the vision hunt decree.
What is this? Their wishes. Forty thousand. Let's go. Damn the music. <laughs> Hold on, I want to hear this. Don't finish her just yet. <laughs> I think we're going too fast. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, I think I can finish her already, but I, I want to see more of her moves. Oh, what? What? Oh, alright. I can just use Yula and finish her off. <laughs> I just want to see more of her moves. Ooh. Because I thought that was too easy. With Yula. <laughs> Alright, let's just finish her off. Maybe. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> uh. You've lost, eh? <sighs> yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people and in the power of their ambitions? These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. People move forward with all their might. They can surpass the gods' expectations and even take over the world of the gods. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Liyue? There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. What do you mean? Oh. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. Okay. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And yet, something was lost. Tales are still retold in the shade of every thunder sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss yes. still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen a nation strike forward. And lose everything to the heavenly principles. Heavenly principles? Perhaps only if time was stands that? still, Looks will like. the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. That's I the am of the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. Let's see. The heavenly principles. 
Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. When all's said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? <sighs> that would be something of an oversimplification. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change. It does nothing more than simply... exist. Mm -hmm. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Just exists and you don't have any ambition. Hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Nico, retract your words. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. <laughs> you mean visions? Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses, but I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. <sighs> but eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? <sighs> for me? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. But it is necessary. You will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely, and yet for the sake of eternity you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? This is your plane of euthymia. Mm -hmm. It's your inner world, so it can only mean that you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? I... Uh, have nothing to say to that. <laughs> But I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. <laughs> How long will that take? As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. <sighs> Seeing you again is a change to eternity. And a very nice surprise. <laughs> Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. <laughs> anyway, now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the vision oh. hunt decree. All right. But with regards to eternity and the question of whether this nation should move forward, I need time to give it some thought. Okay. <laughs> you are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. As promised. The Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. She abolished it already. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plain of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. <laughs> Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, to inspire hope. <laughs> but some ambitions. Ooh, this I went here before. This is where it was. Outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning.
burning bright and true. Yeah, it was this eternity. Wow. I assume that's the end of Act 3. Let's end another scene. So what did you guys do in the Riding Tilkin's Plain of Euthymia anyway? Alright, by Mundin C. Is the Vision Hunt Decree abolished? Yeah, thanks to Yaimiko. Oh, gotcha. Paimon was super worried, you know. So, maybe the reason Yaimiko is looking for us now is because she wants to thank us. Let's go find her. Still not done. You have to meet Yaimiko. Alright. <laughs> Visit Yaimiko. Ah, oh, she's at the Sakura Shrine. Why, hello. If it isn't the triumphant traveler. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. You literally told us to come meet you here! <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking. I've been waiting for you. Seems like someone's in a pretty good mood. Mm hmm. Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. By the way, I heard that you had a duel before the throne. Yep. With a Fitui Harbinger, no less. Courageous and astute. I must say, I am most impressed. Don't know what came over me. <laughs> Spur the moment thing. Defeating Signora head on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. Still, you did end up victorious. I gather congratulations are in order. <sighs> sure feels good to finally thwart the Fatui plan for once. <laughs> they caused plenty of trouble along the way, but at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another gnosis. Alright. They didn't take Raiden's gnosis, did, did they? <laughs> Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? As in, the little thing that looks something yeah. like a chess piece? Yes. Yep, that's the one! You see one too? Gnosis belong to the Seven. They're what keep them connected to Celestia. Oh. Um, oh, what what's do you mean? wrong? Oh. Miko? I handed that over. Huh? You did what now? Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the Balladeer exactly? So the Gnosis is long gone then. What? <laughs> the Balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he's superior to Signora. Oh, the Balladeer is in Scaramouche. I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. <laughs> Yeah, but why why is the Gnosis with her? Yeah. After A created her puppet vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. As her erstwhile closest friend, A handed it over to me. Oh. And I've kept it in the Grand Narukami Shrine ever since. She no longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any case, she tells me she has severed ties with Celestia. I Thus see. the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Is that not a good bargain? Exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? Judging by the results at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. <laughs> when you put it like that, Paimon has to Yeah, we, we didn't the see this guy. You only seen him once. <laughs> Yes, I wonder where do we go next? As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead or the oh. events of the past. We ask Yaimiko instead of every... Uh, every Archon. 
But we ask Yaimiko instead. What would you like to know about? About the Shogun puppet. That one. puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Perhaps she, as a god, is the only one privy to the knowledge of its origins. Still, there is one other thing on this topic that I suspect you may be curious to know. Before A began modifying her own godly form, mm -hmm. she took it upon herself to create a prototype puppet. So, you mean there are three riding shokens? No. The prototype was merely a proof of concept. Its appearance and intellect were not based on A. It was a test. The original plan was for A to simply discard it. But perhaps A thought this to be too cruel, because in the end, she chose only to seal the power within it. Later, this puppet wandered Inazuma as an ordinary human male with his own consciousness. Until... the Fatui took an interest in him. Ugh! Not the Fatui! Some eccentric geniuses in the ranks of the Fatui made adjustments to the prototype, not only unsealing his power, but very likely rendering him even more formidable than his original specifications. Make him stronger? Mm hmm. The object of divine creation is now the one who has taken possession of the Gnosis. And the prototype Scaramouche. puppet is now known as the Balladeer. What the? What a crazy story! What the hell? Scaramouche is it? It is, isn't it? Who can say whether it's coincidence or destiny? Alright. About the former Raiden Shogun. I'm surprised an outlander like you is aware that there was once a change of Electro Archon. Few citizens of Inazuma are aware of this. I didn't... I wasn't aware of this either, but until I saw that Morax flashback. Told us. He and yeah, more the Electro so Archon Ball has passed away. Yeah. Ball was the the sis is it a sister? Right? The sister. Yes. The truth of the matter is that there were two twin gods, Ball and Beelzebul. Ball and Beels. Why the pronunciation every time different? <laughs> okay, Beelzebul. Twin gods? Twin god. <laughs> when I hear twin god, I think of twin Harrys. <laughs> Okay. They won the Archon War together, and when Baal established the Shogunate, uh -huh. Beelzebul became her Kagemusha, or Shadow Warrior. Kagemusha. In other words, she acted as Baal's body double. Why have I heard that before? Body double. Beelzebul is A, with whom we are now both acquainted. Baal's name was Makoto. Oh. As far as the world was aware, there were not two, but one. They complemented each other, and they ruled Inazuma jointly. So there was no need for the public to know the truth. In fact, the name Ball and the title of Raiden Shogun was understood to refer to both of them. Right up until... Until what? Makoto died several hundred years ago in a war that I was not personally involved in. Since then, A has assumed the Shogunate. Losing her sister must have been mm. super hard on him. Hundred A. years ago. Kanuma? Yeah, I saw that flashback. That was Kanria, isn't it? So she lost at that time? That was when A began to change. Makoto was her greatest loss. Paimon feels like she understands A a lot better now after finding that out. So what kind of god was Makoto? I didn't spend a great deal of time with her, but my impression was... She was a gentle god, who in each moment cherished the beauty of what was before her. Wow! About my sister. Sorry, I haven't a clue. Uh. I'm also unfamiliar with the god you describe. But if you still have doubts about A, I would say they are misplaced. Hmm? Not only does she not fit your description, but she voluntarily gave up her gnosis long ago. Severing yeah. her ties with Celestia in the process. So it's not her that met her. I don't believe she was the one. That's good to hear. Otherwise, given that I'm her familiar, it could have made <laughs> our relationship rather awkward, don't you think? Don't worry. We aren't looking to pick a fight with you. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. May you soon discover the truth behind it all. As for your sister's whereabouts, 
I will use all the resources at my disposal to investigate it. Okay. And I will also borrow some of Ayato's people from the Shiomatsuban. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Alright then. Consider it part of my means of thanking you. About the start, the next start of my journey, yeah. Um, so far, like, we know where's next. But now? After leaving Inazuma, hmm. I think it's be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. Yep. Sumeru, but uh, Sumeru is still not yet released, eh? not yet open. <laughs> oh, Sumeru! We've run into lots of scholars from there on our journey so far. Yes, well, Sumeru god is the wisdom. land of the god of wisdom, okay. where the quest for wisdom and knowledge is never ending. Wisdom, huh? But their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. For example, in Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Knowledge is a resource? Yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up with the idea. Lesser Lord Kusanali? <laughs> That's a cute name. Oh, you haven't heard. Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in whom the people of Sumeru place their faith. Oh. It's their chosen term of endearment for Lesser her. Lesser Lord Kusanali. Okay. I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her too. I wish you all the best. No more questions then. Are you sure? There okay, were no then. no options. <laughs> oh, traveler. Do you still have the Omori yes. I gave you? Keep it safe. Is that all you intend to do with it? There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, <laughs> telling everyone who inquired that it was given to you by none other than Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. Who in their right mind would do that? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now, a question for you. Traveler, what is your ambition? I see. But that is merely a small goal, based on what preoccupies you here and now. Your ambition should be something that transcends the world below and the starry sky above. Something that shines in unison with fate itself. Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engendered within you. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility. Continue on your journey, and maybe that moment will come to pass. Ah, there you go. Actually complete. Wow. That was a lot of information. Also. And what... Uh... Yeah, this is long, but I don't think I can split that. <laughs> Wait, what? Why I got talked to Yamiko? Did that all get a little heavy for you? I think you prefer me when I'm just teasing you, don't you? <laughs> Maybe we can talk with her again. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, keep it safe. There was ruin there. <laughs> I see your ambition. Perhaps the continue on. Okay, it's the same dialogue. And it's 4 a.m. Wow, that was quick. Time passed so fast. Damn, I've been playing for 3 hours. <laughs> Just to show that I finished here. So, what's next? That's it. That's the end of the Archon Quest. Oh, okay. I'm done with the Archon Quest. Okay then. I'm done with the Archon Quest. Okay, great. Well then, so that's it. This is the last part of the Archon Quest videos, I guess. All that's left is Story Quest. And uh, World Quest I can just do on stream or whatever. So now I can focus on these. These will be next. The hangout event, story quest, and the story quest on the, these five stars. Ah, I can unlock Raiden Shogun's one or so. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, then I can do all these in the next video. Only, uh... So far, only I've done is Zhongli, eh? because for a weekly boss, that's all. 
I haven't done anything else. And also this. I only done the characters I have that time, which was Bennett, Chong Yun, Barbara, Noel, Halfway. And the others I haven't. These are locked. Oh! I could use the keys for them. Alright. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Wow. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.